Hey, I'm J.D. Haley with Oxart Climbing. We're going to talk a little bit about washer and bolt placement in your holds. Uh, in most of your holds, it doesn't really matter. Stuff like these simple edges, it, it really, obviously you don't want to be off too far left or right or down in the bottom, but it's really not too complicated to, to get a good bolt and washer placement in a lot of these holds. Uh, even these like small feet and whatnot, it's really just not that bad. Uh, but you start getting into some jugs, and you know, we'll talk about designing jugs at here for too long but jugs are really where bolt placement is kind of key uh, sort of load bearing becomes kind of an issue and uh, I want to talk about that a little bit as you're getting going and before you really make some mistakes like I've made so right off the bat we'll talk about the basics of bolt placement and washers so I like to have a couple of bolts on hand that I can test my stuff out with and make sure it all looks good and nice and, and clean um, you can see that I've got some holds where I did not have those kind of tests going or I didn't really know what I was doing and uh, I've kind of paid the price for that. So right off the bat we're using a th obviously a 3 8 inch bolt. Uh, it's just pretty a standard for everything. Uh, most of them use this kind of a head but there's some ones that use that concave head. Uh, I don't do any of that here. All of my stuff has got this bolt. Uh, you also need to put washers in your holds because otherwise that bolt head will erode that out with all that pressure. These can handle a lot of pressure, but it really needs to be distributed out underneath a washer. And that washer can take that hard abrasive edge that the underside of a bolt head will cause. So everything needs to have a washer in it, uh, as I've covered in these instructional videos before. And you know, that's how I throw them in there before I cast them. So that said, let's talk a little bit about the different washers that I've got here. I've got the normal 3 8 inch washer that you go get when you buy washers at forever. And then I've got a 5 16 inch washer. So my the 3 8 inch bolt fits in the 3 8 inch washer just fine, but you know there's a lot of slop in there. This is my standard washer. I, I went out and bought washers for 3 8 inch bolts. I, I figured that was the correct option. And uh, as I've gotten them on to all my holds, I noticed there's a little bit of slop in there, and I actually don't care for that too much. Um, you can see how easy it'll fit onto my mold here. just slops right on. It kind of slides around a bit. I don't actually care for that too much. What I found is that 5 16 inch or 5 16 washers that are set onto a properly drilled peg for 3 8 that are a little tight slipping on, but they're a lot better fit once they're on. So I, I really like that. Uh, and I've been using 5 16 standard now for a while. My latest holds that I did, these jugs, I wallered the holes out a little bit more than I, I'd like to have. And uh, I had to go back to 5 16 inch washers to make those work. So, you notice I got a couple of weirdos right here. Well, this is where I, one of the first mistakes I made. So, one of the first holds I made was this jug. And I didn't really look real hard at the cross section before I drilled my hole and tapped it. Or not tapped it, but inset it for a washer. And uh, I've had to, I had to go find these really narrow, expensive, uh, man, I don't know what they're called, these weird washers that would fit into this gap because I couldn't put a washer inside of this without it sticking out. Uh, and that was a major problem. So I, I fought with it for a while trying to figure it out and figure it out and I didn't want to just keep buying these. Um, and so what I actually ended up doing is I started getting these washers and I'd take them to work and I'd just shear off the edges and drop them into the mold just like this. And so that's what this one here is. This is actually uh, just kind of the bottom bottom third, bottom two-fifths of that casting to create a small sloper edge. And I've taken a narrow, I think on this one, excuse me, I think on this one it's a narrow 5 16 inch washer and just laid into that air. And that gives me some room and gap on either side and I don't have washer sticking out either side of the hold. Um, so, but not everybody has access to those shears to do that. And really, that's not the right way to do that. I'm just correcting a stupid mistake that I made. So. Be aware of that. Um, again, I would go for 5 16 inch washers if you can bear, uh, bore a tight enough hole, but a normal 3 8 inch washer will work. If you have access to a shear, I think that's the best way to create these narrow washers. And if you have access to a shear, I don't actually think that's a bad way to do that. But again, most people don't have access to a really nice uh, industrial level shear that they can just easily cut through a bunch of washers. So on jugs, it's particularly important to get the right uh, cross section when you're putting this thing in. If you put it too far out, to, I've got this centered right about here, got a little bit of gap right there. Um, if you put it too far out, 
what's happening is your load bearing points right here on the end and when you're pulling it down the load bearing isn't so much on the bolt as much as it is on this tail here pushing into the flat surface if there's any kind of a bump in the surface this whole thing is going to flex and it's probably going to break this hole let me get back centered in camera here if it you, you has to be on that flat surface otherwise if it's any kind of rise or unevenness in the thing it's going to put a lot of pressure on this and it's going to break this right across the point so this really needs to be as thick as it possibly can to accommodate that um, so you don't want to move it out too far that way you don't want to have it up so far here that it comes in the back because then it's going to torque it inside which is also really bad so it needs to be done correctly as much as possible and it's kind of hard to eyeball uh, and it also needs to be as straight as possible perpendicularly to sit against that that, that wood or your your, uh, your panel in the back as, as flat as possible to evenly distribute all that pressure across it because that's, that's how it's going to work on this one I got it too far out and so the washer will stick out um, if you if you throw it in there I think it's like a 5 16th might fit and that washer just sticks out and it looks like trash and the head sticks out and it just this is a poorly done jug this is the first jug I ever did it's super comfortable man I, I love I, I, I like dynoing almost into these jugs at the gym because we have hung a couple and they do work but I really don't think they're gonna last that long because there's just not enough material on the bottom end of this thing to keep it keep it going steady um, so I should have gone up a little bit farther, but honestly, what should have happened with this jug is that I should have sculpted it out a little bit longer to add more load-bearing pressure down here on the bottom that would keep it aligned against the wall. So that this these I really don't expect these ones to last very much longer, and I really don't cast them. As much as I like these holds, they're super comfortable, I don't cast them anymore because I don't expect any kind of uh, lifetime out of them. So, so that's an early mistake I made, moving it too far out and not insetting it too deep. So if I... That's the other issue. You could inset it too deep, but now your washer is sitting on the on the bottom, and when all that pressure is on the outside of it, on the top, it's really torquing it, and you don't have a whole lot holding it on, and there's not a lot of support out in the middle of it to sit on either. So it needs to be out as far as it can, but deep enough in that the washer is going to sit in there correctly. So it's why it's important when you're looking at your jugs to give enough tail on the bottom end to support that weight and let it come out far enough that the washer can be completely supported or completely hidden. So I've, I've sculpted four new jugs here and they've all, I've, I've done a lot better with them on these ones. Um, this one, that washer is inset probably a little farther than I would like, but it's gonna work, it'll be okay. Um, but I, pref I wish this one was a little bit farther up towards the top and maybe, maybe that washer is a little higher up. Um, and this one's kind of a nice matching wide jug and this one's almost perfect. Again, it could go up a little bit higher um, or the scope could have been cut down a little bit narrower, but I, I think it worked great. So I'd like, I'll go into further detail on sculpting these jugs, but the main thing I wanted to touch based on was getting your bolts into the holds and your washers. So uh, try to avoid the same mistakes that I made. Really double check your washers. Don't do this kind of thing. Add more tail to the hold if you need to. Design a bit more about about load distribu distribution if you can. Uh, it's pretty important. Uh, with your simple stuff like like this or or uh, really anything that doesn't have any outcropping that you're hanging on to, because off, off all these, your load pre your load bearing, your, your most pressure is gonna be up close to the wall and it's gonna sit right on top of that bolt. You know, when it gets really complicated is when you're out past that bolt, that's when you have to really worry about what you're doing. Even these large slopers that I've sculpted, I'm not worried about it because I'm sitting over the top of that bolt and the bolt can do it with a little bit of tail help, but it's not too bad. I'm not out past the bolt head like I am with, with jugs. So jugs are where it's an issue. Those are the ones you need to pay attention to. Those are the ones you want to make sure you have enough tail on the bottom to support the weight. You want to make sure that your bolt isn't too far up into the, into the top of it here and coming out. Or too, or too low to where it's not, either the washer's not hidden completely or it's not got enough support down on the bottom. So be aware of those things. Um, I hope that gives you a little bit of warning going in. Uh, again, we're gonna try and go back and talk a little bit more about sculpting jugs specifically. I recorded sculpting all these and uh, we'll probably cover a lot of the same stuff, but we'll, we'll really focus on jugs. And we are also gonna talk a little bit about uh, casting these screw holes because now that we're getting into stuff where the 
the, the pressure might actually twist a bit, it's important to have screw holes to stop it from spinning on the wall. So uh, I hope that clears up a couple things as far as uh, your washers and your bolts. And uh, yeah. Yeah, let me know if you got any comments or questions, or if, if you have a specific topic that you'd like to talk about and get covered, uh, let me know and we'll, uh, we'll tackle it for sure. Thanks and good luck out there.